so happens, my dear, that women of a certain age don't date me. Ever think of it that way? Hey there guys, what's happening and welcome back to our channel. Age is truly a number in Hollywood. There have been uncountable movies in the industry that cast actors with a significant age group between them, but all this never stopped the movie from gaining fame. In fact, the on-screen chemistry was loved by the fans. If you're curious, head on in to find out the top 10 movie couples with shocking age gaps. Number 10. Clint Eastwood and Rene Russo in this action thriller, In the Line of Fire, Clint Eastwood portrays Frank Horrigan, a member of the Presidential Protective Detail who is tasked with finding a potential assassin. Rene Russo stars opposite Eastwood and fellow agent Lily Raines. Frank's increasing age is made an explicit part of the movie's story as many find him unfit for duty. Eastwood was 63 years old when the movie was released in July of 1993. Born in February of 1954, Russo was only 39 at the time, making her a far more realistic option for an agent. This marks an age gap of 24 years between them at the time. Do you make an effort to be obnoxious or is it a gift? It's a gift. Number 9. Harrison Ford and Anne Hetch Directed by Ivan Reitman, Six Days and Seven Nights stars Harrison Ford and Anne Hetch as survivors of a plane crash. Despite their differences, the two bond over the course of the adventure and the movie ends with Ford revealing his feelings for Hetch. By 1998, Ford was getting up in years. Born in July of 1942, Ford was 56 years old when the movie was released in 1998. Hatch, on the other hand, was fresh off hit movies and was 29 years of age after being born in 1969. This meant Ford was nearly twice Hatch's age at the time the movie was released. We're filling in. You're in luck. I'm your pilot. Oh. <laughs> Number 8. Michael Keaton and Andrea Riseborough Released to the public in 2014, Birdman centers around the midlife crisis of sorts for Michael Keaton's character in the movie. He was an actor who found some success in the 90s, but he was now washed up and struggled to produce a Broadway play. Despite his personal concerns, he does have a girlfriend, Andrea Riceborough, who plays Laura, whom he hopes to cast in the lead role. Keaton was 63 years old when the movie was released to the public and Riceboro was 32, about to be 33. This meant the two had a 30 year age gap between them in the movie. Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. Me too. Number 7. Jeff Bridges and Maggie Gyllenhaal Crazy Heart is another movie revolving around the themes of aging and relevance concerning the passing of time. Jeff Bridges stars as Otis Blake, a once popular country movie star who is now lonely and suffers from addiction. He performs in bowling alleys and dive bars across the country. He eventually meets a journalist named Gene and the two enter into an intimate relationship. At the time, Bridges was 60 years old and Gyllenhaal was only 32 years old. It might seem like Gyllenhaal was older given her long career, but she was still young. Regardless, the two made a touching couple in the movie despite their 28-year-old age gap. So, how would you learn music? Number 6. Colin Firth and Emma Stone Serving as Woody Allen's 44th film, Magic in the Moonlight is a romantic comedy centered around magic. Colin Firth plays an illusionist named Stanley Crawford who devotes his life to debunking frauds and so-called acts of magic. He is sent to the French Riviera to investigate Sophie, i.e. Emma Stone. Despite the problem between the two at hand, they eventually fall in love. The movie was released in July of 2014 when Firth was 53 years old and Stone was only 25. The 28-year age gap makes Firth double that of Emma Stone's age. It's very hard to comment on our own department. She is very good in it and it looks <laughs> He's beautiful. Great. You know? Number 5. Liam Neeson and Olivia Wilde 
Paul Haggis' movie Third Person contains three interconnected love stories taking place in different cities around the world. One of them occurs in Paris and stars Liam Neeson and Olivia Wilde. Neeson plays Michael, a Pulitzer-winning author who recently left his older wife and has a romantic relationship with Anna, played by Olivia Wilde. Kim Basinger, who plays Michael's ex-wife Elaine, is just one year younger than him in real life. However, Wilde is 30 years younger. Neeson is 61 and Wilde was 29 years old at the time of the movie's release in 2014, resulting in a 32-year age gap between the actors. Oh, now I feel foolish. But it might be damp. Number 4. Bill Murray and Scarlett Johansson Lost in Translation is a movie about lost and lonely people. On one side is Bill Murray's character, a once popular actor who has resorted to filming whiskey commercials who suffers from a midlife crisis and is growing increasingly unhappy with his marriage. On the other side is Scarlett Johansson, a young woman who is also questioning her marriage. The two go on to share a more intimate relationship in the movie, but their real feelings remain rather ambiguous. The film was released in 2003 making Murray a 53-year-old man, while Johansson was only 18 years of age. The 35-year age gap is quite stark. Get out of this bar, then the city, and then the country. Are you in or are you out? I'm in. Number 3. Jack Nicholson and Amanda Peet Released in 2003, Something's Gotta Give served as Jack Nicholson's fourth last movie before he retired. He plays a rich music mogul named Harry who is 63 years old. He refuses to get intimate with any woman aged 30 or over, which is how he comes across Amanda Peet who was 29 years old in the movie. In reality, Nicholson was 66 years old at the time of the movie's release and Amanda was 32 years of age. This resulted in a 34-year age gap between the two. Harry was once engaged to Diane Sawyer. I love her. I'm impressed. Yeah. Number 2. Sean Connery and Catherine Zeta-Jones The movie Entrapment stars Sean Connery and Catherine Zeta-Jones, two of the most versatile actors in the industry. The two are a romantic criminal couple who play thieves whose targets include robbing valuable paintings and the bank which they are able to clear of $8 billion. The movie was released in April of 1999, making Connery 68 years old and Zeta Jones just 29. With almost 40 years of an age difference between them, this gap is quite a big one. I jumped trains mid-station. When the train slowed down, I, I just... It was perfect. Number 1. Tom Skerritt and Drew Barrymore While not so popular, Poison Ivy was one of Barrymore's most famous movies in her career. The movie has also obtained a cult following and was fondly received upon when released in 1992. Barrymore plays Ivy, a street smart private school student who is attracted to her friend's father, Cooper, played by Skerritt. It was a turbulent time for Barrymore's career, but the movie revamped her fame. This marked the 41-year age gap between the two. This age difference certainly helped the movie gain fame, regardless of its troubling storyline. It's nice and cool in here. Um, I missed my ride. Think you could take me to Olympic in Fairfax? No. So do give us your thoughts on these age gap differences in these movies and whether it didn't bother you or you felt slightly uncomfortable. And watch the two videos that are already on your screen right now as they're just as good as this one. And with that, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.